Do you know what am I staring at? Comfy UI inside of Photoshop. How amazing is that? I mean, just look at the quality. This is Matvit Pro AI, which is using an online AI service to real-time rendering. So that's cool, but we can do that in Photoshop too. But the result may be a little bit different. So what we can do, we can just go to our Confi. You see the Photoshop Confi node. We can just bring that image here. You will see that every changes that I do will render in real time in Photoshop. But look at the quality. I mean, just look at the quality. The prompt is the same. There is nothing different between this and the online service input. You can use all the Photoshop tools here. For example, if I want to glow it more, I can just do it. I can simply just add some uh, shadow here and make it a little bit brighter. Or you can simply click on your output render and click on your Photoshop to paste it. Just press Ctrl V to paste it and it will be regenerated based on the image you put in the Photoshop. It's kind of a refining option. Let's just test the horizontal flip for this. As you see, we have a new image based on the horizontal flip and we can simply edit the image. For example, if I want to remove the sun over here, I can just brush it and the sun will disappear and we can just add another sun here. And this is the result you will get with an online service for AI rendering. And this is what you can get inside of your Photoshop and offline. What do you think about that? Hmm? And this is not over yet. You can use this as input and get this image and this image as a logo in output. Which I will explain it later in other video. If you're enjoying this video and this method, please like, comment and subscribe me. I'm a lone developer and I need your support thanks let's talk about how to do it just search for photoshop to comfy ui and you will see a password here you can just go to your edit panel in photoshop and click on remote connections then you are gonna enable the remote connection and set a password i will set one two three four one two three four and press ok i personally suggest to close the photoshop and relaunch it for better results just it you can now add a preview image here and check if it is working yeah it is working and if i change it in photoshop you will see the changes here you can even set an auto queue for it and you will see that every changes you do in photoshop when you release your mouse will appear in comfy ui so it was that simple now let's just test how can we edit the input image from Photoshop in our Comfy UI. We can add an inverse image for example and yeah just like that and put it as an input and preview that. Okay done but we need another node named preview pop-up which is a really useful node. Uh, it will add a new window and preview your result in a new window you can even change the size and click on the pin button and it will be pinned and you can edit everything you want and it will show you the final result here you just need to download the comfy ui from github then open the 7zip file and don't forget to install git before this and you can just simply drag it to extract that after you extract the folder you will see a folder appear in your drive you're just gonna open the comfy UI folder and go to the models just try to follow my steps to make sure that everything is working great you need two control nets for this you need one line control net and one simple control net you need only one of the scaling model which i use 4x ultra sharp and for the checkpoints model i think the dream shaper is the best but you can try 
SDXL Turbo as well. And for the last part, we need to put these three LoRa's in the LoRa folder. After all these, you need a plugin named Conf UI Manager. So you are gonna open the custom notes folder and right click. And if you installed Git successfully, you will see the Git button here. If you didn't see, you can simply click here and type CMD and press enter. Then you are gonna paste the first code, which is in the video description and it will be installed successfully. The Comfy UI setup just finished. Let's just open the Comfy UI. After you install it, this window will appear here. This is the default workflow of the Comfy UI. We can check if this is working well by pressing this button. Just wait a couple of seconds to load all the models and prompts. Great. It's working. Generate this image based on the prompt. But this is not the workflow we want to use. We want to add our Photoshop image to our config. So we want to load my workspace here. And these red nodes are the nodes which you want to install it. So you can simply click on the manager at the right side and click on install missing custom node. It has to show four nodes here. If it's not showing the Photoshop to Comfy UI node here like me, you can just install these two nodes and install the other nodes manually. Just wait a minute for installing. Okay, installing process finished. Do not restart. Press close. Press install via git URL and paste this URL. Wait for installing. Do not restart again, paste another URL and we are waiting for installing process to finish. Okay, you can now restart the Comfy UI. After restarting your Comfy UI, you will see no red node here, which means everything works fine. So installing process just finished. Let's test some of these options. I have an image of Fortnite and I wrote Fortnite from back with a pickaxe. I can remove this tree here. Let's test what will happen if we change the HUE. Oh, that's great. That's amazing. That's actually a real Fortnite skin. Bro. I mean, I'm playing with this every day, but the result is quite impressing every time. We can add some light and darkness here. And this is the result we are getting. Let's just move the light source and flip that. That's good. I like that. I like that. I don't need to fill all the white spaces. Yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. But the pickaxe is a little bit different here. Um, okay, let's just remove the light from the pickaxe. Now, let's do it again. Let's back to the Comfy UI and see the result here. Uh, so we have an upscaling group here, which if you set the group on always, it will not bypass that and it will generate the image and make it higher resolution and higher quality. I think I just messed up with the prompts. Yeah, I forgot to use the same prompt for this, but I'm not gonna lie, that's fantastic. But we can use the same prompt here, which I fixed this problem in the new workspace and you will have the new workspace without this problem and you will see it is gen regenerating based on fortnite and the prompt which we used there this was our input image and this is our result
the real time rendering is currently available in version 1 and for the next version I'm working on masking option which you don't need Adobe Firefly anymore because you don't need to wait for downloading or uploading any data and you can generate instantly in real time. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day.